it's we really an honor to be here. Canada. It's an honor to have worked with this amazing team. And it's an honor to have worked with you and for you. And all of us are working together, which is why, um, you know, which is why this is exactly the place to be. As Greens, we have been ahead of the curve on equal marriage, on uh, immigrant rights, on demilitarization, on greening our energy, on the right to a job at good wages, on health care, and free higher education, which should be a human right. Yeah. We've been ahead of the curve. And all of a sudden, the curve has caught up to us with a vengeance. So um, I just want to thank you all for being a member of this new caucus that I think David, uh, <laughs> David referred to, the GSD caucus, the get on TV stuff done <laughs> caucus. <laughs> Off camera, it's something else. But that's really where we are. And you know, this is what democracy looks like, and this is what democracy acts like. It's not a spectator sport, as so many of us have learned. Um, we got to do it. We are the ones we've been waiting for. They're not going to do it for us. I want to uh, resist the urge to uh, get into the lofty vision here, which is kind of irresistible, because we are at such a profound moment of peril and possibility on every front. So what we are doing is so important. And California, in so many ways, is leading the charge. And I want to thank you for all that. That's part of why I'm here today, because what California does, the rest of the nation does. And that's right. not only you know the economy and our energy and immigration and all that, and creating a sanctuary city, sanctuary regions, and a sanctuary state, which is what we should be doing. But um, politically, in terms of the Green Party, what happens here in California is so critical. You, of course, lead the nation in numbers and percentage and all that. And um, so it's really important what we do here. And so I want to you know, just follow up on some of the specifics that were mentioned. We tripled our vote. Approximately. We got 48 states on the ballot, oh, which is awesome. And we also emerged from the uh, election with more continuing ballot status than we had ever had before. We made really profound in inroads and established common cause with many constituencies that we've been sort of uh, courting for a long time, but things were ready to happen. And that included many uh, in the Latino and, and Chicano communities and uh, some of that leadership, uh, working in particular with, uh, with Roberto Lovato and other groups. Um, with students, you know, we were very uh, active with students who were advocating not only for free public higher education, but also for a bailout for students, like we did for the crooks on Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. the, students, the victims, the victims of that waste, fraud, and abuse on Wall Street. And I wonder, I, I want to underscore that that issue, like all the other issues of our national campaign breaks down into local issues, into state and uh, legislative and city council issues. So you know, part of the agenda uh, in our running this race was to really help lay the groundwork and to energize the work that's going on right now. Um, so these issues break down to fighting, uh, to continuing that fight for free public higher education and for a student bailout. And I mentioned that, oh, are we running out of time here? OK. I mentioned that because um, we're running races now. you know. And I think the real, um, the real test of the campaign is what comes out of that campaign. And there could be no greater tribute to what we have all done together than the incredible special election races that are being run right now by Kenneth Mejia and Sherry. Yeah. Yeah, and it is also a note of tribute to the heroism, the outright heroism of everyone on this campaign. Yes, there are lots of things that we didn't do, 
that we couldn't do. But essentially what we accomplished with so few resources and in the face of such incredible vicious resistance, what we have done and what we continue to do is nothing less than heroic. And uh, again, a testimony to that is the resistance that's rising up against Kenneth and Sherry right now because it is understood that they actually have the potential to win. And for us, the fact that both Kellyanne Conway and Rachel Maddow are coming after me and the campaign is a sign that we have arrived. That's right. There you go.